I didn't think I was going to be making another capture so soon, but the sun has come up and that means it's now time for me to start talking about something else. There are a couple of things that I plan to talk about, but to be honest, I hadn't actually been planning on doing it quite so soon. So Anyway, one of the things that I was going to talk about was a game that I've been playing recently called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Which, of course, a lot of you will have heard of. Um, it takes place in the fictional state of San Andreas, which I believe is supposed to be modelled after California in America. I don't know why I'm so flustered at the moment. It seems like I can hardly think straight. You know, I look into this camera and for some reason it just feels like... Mm, uh, nervy, nervy, nervy. What am I so nervous about? I'm scared. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, this game. The thing that I was going to say about it is that while part of me can understand sort of why it was banned in just about every country on the planet, at least as far as I'm aware of, another part of me sort of finds myself asking the question of whether or not that was really necessary. I mean, I've played the game and yeah, there is some stuff in it that's pretty terrible, I guess. But, and put it this way, I definitely wouldn't allow under 18 probably people to play it, but hey, I'm over 18, so I don't think it's really fair to, or appropriate to sort of ban overage people from viewing it, but it actually is an amazing game, I mean, it's just so immersive, I mean, I got into it and it literally is a virtual city, you know, you walk outside the front of Carl's house uh, Carl is the name of the character you play, by the way. And you can just look up into the sky and there's planes going over or there'll be this orange sunset. And then you walk out to the street behind his house and there's cars going by and every so often a random gang will just start attacking the police in the game or something like that and it can get very chaotic. The other unbelievable thing is the amount of small details that are sort of in it. There's a video game console actually located in Kyle's house that lets you play a game, an old game called Galaga, on it, which is interesting. I mean, it's just sort of that degree of small detail. I mean, you can go into sort of these 7-Eleven shops in different places and there'll be arcade games there again that you can play. Um, you can go into nightclubs there and there's dancing, you can walk along beaches, it just is a heap of detail. I don't know where any of you would get hold of it from, um, if you could, because, as I said, it is restricted, but if you can get it, just see for yourself anyway. I mean, I think it's the sort of thing that people really need to make their own determination about. I mean, one of the things in particular that I think is very sad is that Rockstar have really come up with the most amazing technology for being able to render a city. I mean, each one of the city blocks is made up of a, a three-dimensional map. I mean, if you've ever played um, Unreal Tournament, um, you'll know that the, the maps there are individual files. If you can imagine a city being made of possibly even a, a couple of thousand of maps like that just being sewn together. I mean, it, it actually does run fairly slowly on my system. I've, a, I've got half a gigabyte of RAM, but I really think I'd need to get a gigabyte, you know, in order to view the whole thing because it just, it loads a heap into memory. But one of the things that I found myself thinking I'd really love to see for the next version of SimCity, I think this would be really cool, would be if Maxis and Rockstar actually collaborated and 
you know, so you could have a scenario where you would actually build the city block by block and then the, the renderer that Rockstar uses for the GTA games um, would actually kick in and that way you'd have, you would have made your own city and you could actually go down into it from a, a third or even a first person perspective and drive around in it, walk around in it in exactly the same way that Carl can do in San Andreas. I think that would be really cool. I mean, of course, because it would be a Maxis game, it probably wouldn't have the violent element, but the SimCity games really don't need them, I don't think. And I think that would possibly also go a long way to getting rid of a lot of the controversy that, um, you know, sort of developed around Rockstar, unfortunately, because of the, you know, the sort of violent content of San Andreas. And I mean, I'll be honest, it is violent. It's a very violent game. You can do drive-bys, you get assassination missions. So, yeah, I mean, there is a lot of violence there. But at the same time, and I guess I should almost feel guilty admitting this, but it's fun. It is really, really good fun. I mean, if you can imagine... Um, well, I haven't seen a lot of gangster movies... But, um, I mean, not even so much San Andreas even, but also with Unreal Tournament 2004, that's basically like being able to get into a, a completely interactive version of one of the old Mad Max films. I mean, a game of Onslaught, which is one of Unreal Tournament 2004's game modes, is like that. I mean, if you can imagine. You know, it's got the it's got the jeeps, it's got the tanks, it's got fighter planes, and well, of course, that's another really awesome game that I've been playing. But games now are just I don't know where it's going. I mean, it's just getting crazy. But anyway, oh goodness, I'm nearly up to the uh, eight minutes again, so I'd better shut up and upload it.